Hello guys, welcome back to the bench and uh, today we're going to go over some moto paints and uh, specifically we're going to do them uh, metalized metallic colors, the uh, metal colors in particular, not so much metallics like metallic blue but you know silver and uh, gunmetal that kind of stuff and uh, we have two varieties here. This is their uh, spray consistency they call it, spray consistency, that means it's, uh, it's airbrush ready. It even has the uh, little airbrush logo right on it. So these are their airbrush ready paints, pre-thinned, uh, ready to go. And these are their standard, like the Gaia, or uh, well, they're direct. Uh, they're um, directly just like Gaia's, but uh, they're also the same kind of paint as the Mr. Color lineup. They're lacquers, pure lacquers, and um, these need to be thinned. And uh, you can kind of brush them out of the jar. I did a brush test. I'll show you the results on that. And uh, but they're kind of thick. I, I think uh, you'll see when you get them. Um, some were really thick, and some were kind of thin and ready to go. Um, as far as brushing goes, they all have to be thinned. As far as uh, yeah, brushing goes, except for these. So anyway, what we have in our test is going to be zero silver, zero gold. Where are we here? Matte aluminum, no fancy name on that. <laughs> and this one is armor iron, nice color. Here we have in the regular lacquer lineup, robot iron, robot silver, 03, robot gold, MX05, bronze gold. 07 uh, champagne gold that's 10 rose gold nice looking 11 and uh, bright silver 19 gunmetal 20 star silver that's bright that's a 21 and star aluminum 23 now if this number is missing they probably didn't have anything in that particular uh, color and they're going to add one later or it was out of stock because I, I like to get complete sets and uh, I guess I wasn't able to and this stuff sells out quickly I got it at robot Kai in America I'll have the link below in the description and um, that's where I've been getting them and um, been pretty consistent getting them in and out of stock, but they're selling out pretty fast. Now, Gaia, let me grab a bottle of Gaia for you guys. Gaia, same, you know, they're a little smaller, as you can tell. But, um, this beautiful color. Anyway, they're, um, these guys only ship to America twice a year. So that's why you see massive inventory uh, negatives on this stuff. And then all of a sudden, every seems like every store has them in America. And then they're gone again because they only ship to America twice a year, I believe, is what uh, a retailer told me. So these are a little tricky to get. Um, not so much on the Moto. I'm not quite sure why. But um, these are bigger. Let me see if I can get the size. I don't see a size anywhere. No, I wish I did. I wish I could compare the size. Nope, I can't see it. But um, it might even have the same amount in them. Who knows? Because some of these are un in different levels. But that also could be evaporation. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, for this test, I'm going to be using a new airbrush. The test for this airbrush is coming up. My Badger Renegade Chrome. And there it is. I'm not going to go into many details because the test is coming up on it. And um, it's quite impressive. It is impressive. Not sure of the needle size on it. I forgot which one I ordered. It might have a .4. I'm not sure. Um, but I wanted to go with a larger needle because the, a lot of these have a real heavy metal flake to them. You see that there. But anyway, um, I'm going to spray all these, not all on camera. I'll, I'm going to spray, you know, I'll spray like four of them. Maybe I'll do two of these. This rose is pretty. Gunmetal I like. 
So what, what I'll do is I'm going to pick, uh, I'll maybe pick these four on camera and the rest I'll do off camera. But I will do all of them so you guys can see each of these colors and what they look like and um, when they go on. And early tests prove uh, they're really good. Really good. Just as good as the uh, Gaia, just as good as the Mr. Color. So anyway, guys, that's it. Let me show you how I thin them. And then we'll head over to the booth and we're going to spray them on. All right, guys, obviously we're not going to thin the pre-thin ones. They're ready to go. So I'm going to show you uh, how to thin this stuff out. It's pretty thick, and I do like to thin my uh, lacquers right out. 60, 60, 40, and 60 being the thinner, and 40 being the paint. So I should say 40, 60. Even, seven, even 30, 70 is good. You can, as a matter of fact, if you're having trouble spraying them, thin them some more. You know, But the, look how thick this stuff is. So I'm going to show you. We're not going to need much because uh, I'll show you what we're going to spray on them. But anyway, just grab a bunch. That's good. See it? That's a good amount because from here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add our thinner. All right. Look at it, guys. It's so thick, it doesn't even fall out. All right. So now I also like to use my sticks twice. So there we go. We'll use that second half later on. Double up my uh, coffee stirs, as they're called. All right, cap this back up. And now you can see in the background, <clears throat> Gaia Metallic Master, leveling thinner, Mr. Color, Mr. Color Rapid Thinner, and this is a tool wash. This is what I'm gonna, you clean your airbrush out with at the very end. I got this from Moto, I wanted to try it, and so far it's pretty good. Um, the Rapid Thinners are made for metallics. Um, they're a quicker drying thinner, and it, 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 it keeps the metal flake from settling to the bottom, giving it a, a nicer shine, a more smooth look. And they seem to work really well. And I, I also have done a few of these uh, already using this, and it works just as fine. So personally, I think you can use any lacquer thinner you want, even this stuff if you want. I've had no trouble so far with any of it. I have so much of this stuff, you know, I just pick up any of, any of these and uh, we'll go to town. Now, for me, I don't have to, I eyeball it at this point. I do this so often, you guys. But um, you got to at least double up what I just showed you. It's so thick. So I'm going 50 50 to start there. And I'm probably going to have to put another shot in there. But anyway, can you see it? No, that might be good enough. That might be a good ratio right here. I might have put. Now you're going to loosen it up. I like to uh, give it this swirl on the desk. And then if you see anything sticking to the bottom, just kind of scrape it down. At this point, we're good. I like to give it this kind of a stir, particularly with these. It's a beautiful color, particularly with these uh, metallics. Almost like a, like I'm scraping it like a spatula. Anyway, you're going to take this, drag it up. And you can see it's still leaving pigment behind. See it? But it's running down quickly. It's the old skim milk um, consistency. And it can even go further than this. I can even put even another shot of what you saw me put in. Lacquer thin is a very uh, lacquer paints are very forgiven. You can load it up. Um, this is the airbrush I'm using has a fairly good sized needle, so this should push right through, no problem. So there you go. All right, I'm going to prep the other gunmetal. The other two don't need any prep. And here's what we're going to spray them on. You ready? We're going to spray it on a black spoon. Now I had a gloss black base spoon with the shiny, didn't matter, it looks identical, there's no difference. So I'm just going to use a straight black plastic spoon. I'm going to put it over a black plastic butter knife because it looks totally a little different. You can kind of really see the shade of it when it's dead flat like that. I'm going to do it over a white spoon and then I'm going to do it over a uh, gumpla piece, you know, a piece from a, a kit like this. So that's what we're going to do. So, let's head over to the booth and get the spraying. No primer at all. I'm spraying all this directly over the plastic. So everything you see here, everything I held up, it's going straight over it. Um, I'll show you in the end some over uh, gray primer. There's almost no difference unless it's a very light color. Then, of course, whatever your base is changes. But it didn't seem to matter as far as the gloss black went. But be that as it may, let's head over to the booth. And let me show you how nice this paint is.
All right, guys, here we are at the booth. MX-11, rose gold. We're loaded up. We're gonna start with the black spoon. Look at that. Looking good already. And this, uh, obviously completely different from an acrylic. This goes right on. You can put it on without worries of it running. Let that sit for a second. Look at that, how nice. Put it on the black knife. Make sure it's clean. There we go. Put on a little heavy here so we can kind of see the color at its best there. All right, let me go back and finish this one. What a terrific color this is. This is a good one, guys. This is a great color. All right. Let's go over a gumpla piece. As you can see, no primer, all straight plastic, unless you want to change on the lighter ones, meaning the, the silvers. You'll get a different look as far as uh, a primer goes on those, but most of these I tested just went straight over the plastic, just like my Tamiya paints. Is that beautiful? Wait till you see it under the, the regular lights, the comparison. All right, that's that. All right, over white. Here we go. I don't know if I got enough, but I'll put more in it if I have to. Blow it off. Already you can see it, I think. Very forgiving paint. I don't think you're gonna get any runs it dries even. It's just wonderful paint. Pricing means nothing because you're gonna more than double that jar of paint. You know, just in the thinning it of it alone. There we go. That's over white. All right, guys. Let me clean the brush. I'll move into the next color, and we'll move on with the test. All right, guys, next up, MX-20, Gunmetal, a favorite of mine. Here we go with the Black Spoon first. Already looking good. Oh, what a color this is. Oh, my God. This is awesome. This is awesome. Look at that, guys. That's one coat. I don't have to go back on that one at all. All right. On a flat surface. It's really hard to see the flat surface versus the spoon. That right, looks good. All right. Over white. If you're not covering up any scratches or any sanding, you don't need primer. That, that's a big savings. I would get this stuff for your first custom kit and just paint the paint the Gundam right out of the box. Build the arms, build the legs. No primer. That's over white. How great is this paint, guys? And let's do the Gumpla piece right here. This is a dark blue. I'll show you at the bench the original color this was. It's got a textured surface. It looks like it's going on rough, but that, that's the piece. Old Gundam kit I'm using. And 
and that's it. it. Smells not that bad either. It smelled bad when I opened the jar, but spraying it now is not that bad. I can't tell when I got my mask on when I spray off camera. But, wow, this is terrific. Guys, this is terrific paint. All right, now we're going to do the the one that's made for the airbrush we're going to put directly in. So let me go grab them, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, next up is Armor Iron Spray Consistence. I just poured it straight in. There we go. We'll start with a black spoon. Nice. I tried putting it on thin, and it's, it's not like all clad. You, you, you can layer this on. It just happens to be airbrush ready. I thought it would have been the same type of paint, but it dries nice. It dries that nice matte metal looking, you know. So I'll show you in the end. Really goes on nice. I got the uh, airbrush compressor set for 20 PSI. Now here's where going over different uh, colors will, will matter because this is a very light silvery color. white. Now we'll do this uh, Gundam piece here. Very, very fine spray. It atomizes really nice. Great airbrush too. Um, you guys see in the full review of this airbrush how nice this airbrush is. And I think that's it. Well, you'll see it fully cured and under the lights. So let me get my last color, for camera anyway, the gold, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, here we go, guys. Last one for the camera, anyway, will be zero. Zero gold. Looks like Toto. Hold the line. Uh, T O 10. Anybody get that hold the line reference? All right. Here we go. Black spoon first. Real nice. Wow. It's kind of a faint gold, which I like. I'll put it on heavy here so I can kind of really layer it on. See the difference. I don't even know if I want to put any more on this. I like it. Yeah, it looks like it needs a little more. Yep. Over white. There it is. Hard to see it first till it gets on there. Really changes the look, huh? Wow, it looks really, really different over white. I don't like it over white. Oof. That is different. All right, let's try it over the Gundam piece. Awesome. Oh, real subtle. I like it over these darker colors. This is a dark blue. Look at 
Look at that. You'll see it under the light under the bench. Anyway, guys, that is the test. As far as showing you how they airbrush, I'll meet you back at the bench. I'll have these fully cured, and I'll show you all of the colors. All right, guys, here we go with the results. And because there's so many of them, I sprayed all of them today that um, I can only fit so many on the bench at a time. So what I'll do is I'll go through four or five at a time, pause the camera, and bring the rest up. But I'll start with what I just airbrushed because uh, that's what you guys just saw. So this is your new favorite paint. These are wonderful paints. And um, we'll go ahead and start with the first one I showed. Spray consistent. Well, these are the first, but anyway, spray consistence 24. What was this one? Armor iron. That's over black. Look at that. How nice. It's mega durable because it's uh, a lacquer. These didn't dry a long time. I would let them dry much longer, but uh, great paint. This is flat over directly over the black plastic butter knife. No primer at all. All right, this is over a white spoon. Look at that. Let's compare it over a black. There you go. See it? And this is it over the Gundam piece. I don't even know what piece this is. It's an old kit. Let me see. Looks like it's the Master Gundam here. Real, real old kit. Uh, my buddy got me hooked up with some old kits that I can use for uh, for testing look at this it's so nice it looks like it comes plated all right that was that one let's move in with the uh, zero gold over black look at that is that beautiful over white we'll compare them right now it didn't look good at first but it dried really unique and different really different this is it over the black spoon I mean the black knife you can kind of see how you get just because of the contours it shows it differently that's why I wanted to just go ahead and put it straight down so you can really it's like getting a color chip when you want to test paint for your house yeah. and then uh, here it is over the Gundam piece it's a little my hands gonna to hold it would block a lot of it so I'm gonna leave it on the clip look at that it looks like that's how it came in the kit like it came plated fantastic Fantastic. I even think I like these other ones better, these ones that you mix, all right? Here is MX-20. This was gunmetal. All right, over the black spoon. Look at, is that a, I love gunmetal. It's just a, a type of gray I love. Look at that. Over the white spoon. Now, like I said, when you get into these darker colors, you don't, uh, you don't get a big difference over white and black. That's why it says it doesn't really need a primer on most of these because this is what you're going to get. Here it is straight up over the flat of the knife. There we go. Trying to get without the reflection. I think these are easy to see under the lights with the reflection. And here it is on the Gundam piece. Now it looks rough, but the piece is rough. It's an actually it's a it's a rough piece. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. Here it is right out of the box, and even this one's got like a dull, rough look to it. So, not a great piece to show for this, but, you know, you can see how it, nice it comes out. Nice and smooth. But look at that. It covers just so nicely. It's just a fantastic paint. I'm quite taken by this paint. This is really good stuff. Rose Gold MX-11 over black. Look at that. Over white. Well, a little bit of a difference, not much, but a little bit. A little more depth in the black. Straight up on the knife. And on the gumpla piece. Look at this. This really looks like it came plated. Is that fantastic? Look at that. Alright guys, let me push these out of the way. I'll bring some more bottles forward and we'll go through some more colors. All right, guys, here we go with phase two. And before we get going in phase two, this is the one I just showed you. And I want to show you the practice piece I did on this gunpla piece. Look at this. It's just, this is a straight, if you can see, it's a dark blue piece. There it is. But this is it straight out of the bottle onto the piece. Look at this. It's just so perfect and consistent. It dries nice. 
I was I wanted to show you that it's a piece I forgot to show you guys. All right, here we go. 090 silver. Not many I tested on this one, but look at that. That's almost uh that's almost a, a chrome, a black chrome. Look at that. That's over gray. I want to try it over gray, completely different. Almost like if I did this with all clad. And this is, look at this, over the piece, look at this, this looks like it's plated. Can you see it? It looks, you can almost see the blue through it. Like another coating would have given it a straight plated look, but that's what it really looks like. See the blue underneath? Now I'll flip it around for you. As I said, the camera's on this side, that's why I, you guys see me favoring one side. Look at that. This is T023, matte aluminum, I'm making sure I say that right. All right, over the black spoon. That is a matte. This is one of the ones that really came out a really dull matte. At least it says it right on the bottle, you know. Really nice and smooth and consistent. This one's been drying a longer time, so this one's much more durable. Um, back here is the tape. I'm trying to reach for it. All right, put my wall of thinner back up. All right, guys. Let's uh, check it out on the durability test. Right, right on there. All right. Oops, lost it. There it is. None of it even came up. Great alternative to uh, all clad as far as certain colors go, you know. Uh, if you're looking for durability and the look. This is it over uh, straight white plastic. You can see the difference there. This is it on the, the knife, the black knife. Like a color chip. And this was over shiny black. I want to show you straight up how it makes no difference. This is the dull black. This was the shiny black. Maybe a little bit glossy here if I look at it closely. But not enough to really warrant primering everything, you know? All right, let's go into their regular lacquer lineups. This is O2 Robot Iron over a black spoon. Look at that color. Close to the gunmetal. Let me reach for the gunmetal. Oh yeah, no, they're different. Look at that. Really nice. Good for a two-tone kit. See it? Yeah, the gunmetal's a little darker. All right, this is it over white. How different is that? <laughs> that is completely different. Don't even look like it. This was over gray, I think. And oh, on the spoon, on the knife. And look at it on this gun, Gundam piece. Look at that. Another one that looks like it's just been plated. Again, there's the original color, the dark blue. Look at that. Great color. Oh, I forgot uh, this one. Here's the Gundam piece painted in it. Look at that. It went on beautifully. Yeah, there it is. There's the dark. That's why I sprayed it over that dark blue. And again, this is. It's got a rough look to it. That's how the kit is molded for some reason. But I want to leave that one out. Here's Robot Silver. So this was Robot Iron. This is Robot Silver. Well, that's pretty close. That's a little lighter. Boy, oh boy. You could pick between any of these and a gunmetal. You, you, you can probably just get one, you know, guys. Maybe add a dash of black to change the shading. But, uh, boy, that's pretty close. This is it over white. That's different. Straight up on the plastic knife. Nice and even. Look at that. And, oh, and on the Gundam piece. Look at this. Again, another piece that look like it's been looks like it's been plated. Really, really, really good paints. Very impressed. Very impressed. Alright, here we have Robot Gold 05 has a tinge of red in it if you can see it here and this is it over white straight up on the black knife and on that dark blue gumpla piece look at that really nice gold too that's a really nice gold 
Wow, I really love these paints. Uh, let me get the final five up here. Let me pause the camera, guys, and get them on the bench. All right, guys, for the final run, here we go. MX-07, bronze gold. Ah, nice. That's over the black. Here it is over the white. Again, you could get away with a nice two-tone kit just using the one jar of paint and a couple of different bases. This is it over the black knife, straight up. And this is it on the Gumpla piece. I wish I used a different piece that didn't have this texture to it, but you get to see the, the coverage, how nice. All right. That was bronze gold. Let's bring forward champagne gold, MX-10, over black. Ooh, this is nice. This is a nice gold. Let's compare it to the other gold. All right, this is the zero gold. See it? Completely different. Completely different, both over the same spoon. Nice and subtle. Not brash at all. This is one of these, this is over gray primer. This is over the white spoon. Let's see if we can get a difference. Eh, barely, not really. There's all three. Oh, I can see the difference now with the black. The black really brings it out. Whereas the gray or the white isn't deep enough that it, that changed it up enough. This is it on the knife. And here it is on the Gumpla piece. Real nice. Wow, these, these are just great paints, guys. I'm really, really blown away by them. MX-19, bright silver. Silver, trying to get my pronunciation right here. Look at that. That is a really nice silver. It's not quite chrome. And it's not uh, quite a, you know, an auto color silver. This is it over white. Wow, it's, it's uh, quite different there. I thought it would have looked the same. That a, that's, gives it a little more depth than the black. This is it laid up on the, oh my god, it looks like an actual butter knife. And here it is on the Gumpla piece. Look at that. That is even painting there. Wow. Star Silver, MX-21. All right, that's over the black. Oh, it's going to be hard for you guys to see on the camera the difference. Let's see this. You can't quite see the difference in these two, that's for sure. I can't anyway. Well, it's really different over white, though. It really comes out over the white. On the knife. And on this Gumpla piece. Again, the one with the texture, but the coverage is really nice. Wow, this is really good. I would just pick one of these two. I think they're too close. Warranting, uh, you know, buying the whole collection. There's, there's the savings right there. You don't need both those silvers. This is Star Aluminum. Let's see what we got here. Aluminum. All right. This is over black. Oh, I like this. This is nice. A little bit of a gold tinge to it. You know, not quite like champagne gold. See it? But you can see what I'm talking about. Let's look at it over white, how much different it is. Oh, not much. Not much. Oh, a little bit of depth. I see it now. Straight up on the spoon, on the knife. And the last piece of all on the Gumpla piece. Very nice. And that's it. Let me show you one more thing. I brushed the gold. I don't know which gold it was. Let me think. I think it was this uh, robot gold. And I brushed it on. This is the airbrushed thin one right here. Took a bunch of strokes. I tried to do it with one stroke. I went over it twice quickly. And this is it out of the jar. Oops. Out of the jar, I just dipped the brush in and went over it. So you can see the, the difference. So I would thin it a little bit, but not consistency of an airbrush. But look how nice it brushed on. It went on really nice. You can see the difference there. So I did want to show you guys that. Anyway. That is the review of Moto Metallic Paints. I got more Moto Paints to test, but I wanted to get these metallics done. I really like these paints a lot. 
These have re rapidly just became one of my favorite paints. I use mostly the Metallic Master Thinner and a bunch of these off camera. I ended up using my Leveling Thinner because I got like three bottles of it and uh, didn't really see a big difference. But uh, if you can, if they sell the Metallic and you're going to do a lot of Metallics, invest in some of that. This is what I cleaned my airbrush with when I was completely done. I just I cleaned it out with the cheap thinner from uh, the hardware store between shots. But when I'm done, I, I flushed it with this. Now, the airbrush test is coming up. This is my new uh, Renegade Chrome from Badger. And uh, I really like this brush. This is a really good workhorse brush. It's comfortable with the little finger hole. I'll go through it um, in a full test coming up within a week or two. I'll do a full test on that airbrush. Uh, I will put the link below for it now. Um, it's not super expensive, around 100 bucks, and uh, it's a terrific airbrush. Really good. All these were done with it, and you've seen how good they look. Anyway, guys, please like the video. It helps a lot with the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe because I have a bunch more tests to go. And we hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video.